Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos for PMT Interactive. Let's build an Android app in Visual Studio in five minutes. Well, first we need to go online and download Visual Studio 2015. It's the latest version from Microsoft, so just search it, go to their website, and download the Community Edition. It's totally free uh, for your purposes. So take a moment to download that go through the installer it's gonna be pretty straightforward choose here the most important thing is a custom installation because it has various features that are not on by default so for example within the group of cross-platform mobile development you want to make sure you turn on HTML uh, JavaScript and that's the Apache Cordova so just confirm it's a 23 megabyte download in my case so you might have to wait a while let it download let it install and then eventually it will let you launch it might take a while mine took uh, about an hour but I had an older system so it's gonna start up for the first time it'll ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account which you can skip or do so choose your default color theme I left it blue so then I started Visual Studio preparing for the first time might take a moment but afterward you'll have your brand new uh, new project screen so switch over to the JavaScript templates and the first one you'll see is the blank Apache Cordova template that's the project that you want that's the cross-platform so choose any file names you want and and start that eventually you'll get your getting started screen but you want to skip that for the moment and open your config.xml file and within config.xml you have various features you can activate for your app such as the camera for a device geolocation etc so I'm just going to install the camera plugin and now I can actually take photos with my app well, it all happens in my index.html file, so in the www folder I can open that. This is a plain old HTML5 compliant document. I'm going to test this. I'm going to run it in my Android device. I actually have a device plugged in. So I've selected to use it, and I'll launch it, and I'll get a bunch of feedback. The very first time, it'll take a while because it has to fully download and set up all your, all your tech. If you get a question about the um, firewall, let it go through. So here I am, switched over to my real device. Hello, your application is ready. So that's proof of concept. Wow, that I've got a, an app. So this is still in debug mode. I can go in and change any of the text, like ready to rock. Uh, and I don't have to do anything special and there it is automatically loading up. I'm ready to rock on my device What I can also do is notice none of that has been permanently changed I was in debug mode, so I will change it to something permanent I'll change my code a bit and this time switch over to the emulator if I don't have a real device I can use an emulated device That'll take a moment to launch you'll have a template uh, device that loads up eventually it emulates a Galaxy Android device so it'll take a moment eventually here we go my amazing app so I can click the home button to take me back to my home screen of my virtual device just like a real device I can go look at my apps and there's my uh, testing app at the moment my blink Cordova app one so it's a real app installed I can launch it again and that's gonna bring up my amazing app well just like before I can go in and live edit my code so I'll just change it my truly amazing app and it's just uh, updated on my virtual device no problem so there we go I've got uh, an HTML5 project in Visual Studio 5. Um, this is just a great new tool, Visual Studio 2015, that lets me develop apps. 
So I'm Victor Campos. Thanks for watching along, and I can't wait to see your apps.